Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Matt with Chaparro Motorsports. Today we're going to talk about the features of the Highway 21 Gunner Leather Jacket. Let's have a look. Today I'm going to talk about the features of the Highway 21 Gunner Leather Jacket. Now this thing is really a total package. It has a ton of style, which is versatile enough for many different types of motorcycles. It has armor built in, tons of storage, and it has a lot of vents. So let's go ahead and run through all those right now. Let's talk about the sizing and availability. You have small through 4XL in your size range, tons of options there. You have this vintage gunmetal gray, which has a great distressed look, and it comes in a sleek all black version. Now the chassis of this jacket is made with a 100% genuine leather. You have a lot of abrasion resistance there, which is gonna give you a lot of protection, and that's backed by CE approved armor in the shoulders and elbows. And this jacket comes standard with a foam back insert that can always be upgraded at any time. Now, as far as pockets go on the exterior of this jacket, you have two chest pockets here that actually double as vents. And I really like that because you have dual functionality there and great use out of this area. So that's gonna allow airflow through the chest and two lower hand warmer style pockets. You have this double sided zipper in the cuff, which is gonna allow you to maintain that closure around the wrist, but you can open it up just a bit to get some airflow up the sleeve, and that's combined with bicep vents that are actually gonna flare open while you're in the riding position. On the sides, or the core rather, you have these zippers here that are gonna allow all of that hot moist air to come out of the jacket to keep you a bit more cool and comfortable. Something that really caught my eye are the way that this jacket adjusts in the core. You'll see you have double snaps here, and you're gonna have snaps in the front, also in the back. So you're gonna cinch this jacket and all the extra fabric towards the center of it, which is gonna give it that clean look as well. Now the back of this jacket's very simple and subtle. You have black reflective piping that goes across the shoulder blades. That's gonna give it a clean, sleek look during the day, but it's gonna give you extra nighttime visibility when needed. You're also gonna see that it is gusseted in the shoulders for extra comfort in the riding position, as well as huge accordion style stretch panels down at the bottom of the jacket. Now you have a Mandarin style collar, which is gonna be very low profile. It's not gonna get in the way. And you have a double YKK main entrance zipper here. This is great because you can open the bottom to get, again, more airflow, or if you need a little extra comfort, you can do so. Now, as we make our way inside this jacket, here's what didn't make sense to me. It's anyone's guess on why they would give you a waterproof liner in a leather jacket. It's not something you would typically want to do when wearing this. However, what does make sense is that it's thermal. So this is gonna keep you warm when it is cooler out. Now, as far as storage options in here go, I was really impressed. You do have a Napoleon pocket with audio routing, which is great because you have a little leather tab there. And you're gonna see a concealed carry pocket on the other side with a very thick elastic band to keep everything in place. And then you're also gonna see a few other cargo pockets on the jacket itself, and again, on that liner. And some of the stylish features that I did like was that plaid insert, and you have a little bit of a bandana print on the tag as well. So that's gonna wrap it up on our quick look on the Highway 21 Gunner Leather Jacket. And I'm gonna make one more note here. I'm 5'10", 210 pounds with a 44 inch chest. I would order a size extra large in this jacket to fit me comfortably and for my specific taste. For more info, you can head to the product page at shapmoto.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Matt and we'll see you next time.